Adams. I'm Mo. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about this Bursa. Bursa Thunder 380. Of course, it's a 380. Shout out to my cousin for letting me borrow this to uh, give y'all a good review. Um, this is his gun. And he had it for a while. So, first thing we're going to do is make sure it's clear. We're going to pull this magazine out. We got nothing here. Empty magazine. Lock that. And we empty here, okay? So, what can I start on this bad boy right here? So you got your uh, two white dots in the back for the rear sight. Then you have your um, your front sight right there. All white as well. Taking this to the range, honestly, um, that front white sight is kind of hard to see on the um, on that paper at the range. So luckily. We ended up getting some little sticker things, and it made it so much better. Um, so, yeah. So, this gun is made in Argentina. Argentina, mamacita. Let me fire that, because I want to pick the hammer up. So, here's the little target thing I was speaking of. Love this. Like how it shows, like, you can see this. All uh, day you can see this. I think I shot this. I shot this like right around here from 25 yards. It was like right there. That ain't a big deal, but it's a big deal. So it was like right about there, 25 yards. So let's get into the specs of this firearm. So you have your safety here. It's not on safety right now. You see the red. I mean, it's ready to fire. And then. Where I'm at, okay? You just pull that down, and that's on safety now. You can still pull the trigger and everything while it's on safety, but it's not going to do anything. And the hammer as well, not going to do anything because it was on safety. So you got your beaver's tail right here at the end to kind of protect you from that slide. But honestly, when that slide come back, it kind of hurts that uh beaver tail hurts because it's like it dig into your 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 skin right there um you have your takedown lever right here your mag release right here and i have to clean this thing up for my boy because <laughs> my boy had this <laughs> I had to clean this thing up for him. So, I mean, overall, it's a nice size firearm. Um, it is bigger than my Hellcat. And it's bigger than that uh, Ruger Max 9 Pro. It's bigger than both of those for a 380. The magazine only holds eight rounds. And the magazine is also Bursa. Eight rounds with the little... Um, skeletonized holes in there so you can see what you're doing see how many rounds you got up in there honestly i think it has an okay trigger pull i'm gonna, I'm gonna cock it back so y'all can see it's gonna lock but we're gonna do it like this pull that up so y'all can see that trigger pull all right so we have the Okay, that's the wall right there. That's the wall. And then, so trigger pull again. That's your wall. From there, wall. Wall. Yeah, overall, it's a pretty good firearm. Um, honestly, I didn't mess with this. F and S right here. And I'm not going to sit here and tell y'all what that is or what it ain't. Because I have no idea. So, 
let's do a size comparison to the um, Hellcat. I'm going to make sure, because I always keep that in there. But my girl says she cleared it out, so we just going to make sure. All right, she cleared it. Okay, so size comparison. We're going to come, let's come right like this with it. So y'all can see, right? All right. I think I got it even. Yep. Bad boy. Like that. Okay. And then we have, let's do the top. Top view of it. Like that. Okay. And the bottom, maybe I can see that better. It's fairly longer than my Hellcat, so. And with the Ruger, we're gonna make sure that one clear too. Pretty sure it's no magazine in here. It's clear as well. So. grip comes out way further from the back of that thing. It's a bigger grip. Um, the Ruger is wider on the top, but yeah, so it's bigger than both of those and this holds less. Single stack. You can also shoot this thing in single action. I totally forgot to do this at the range. I wanted to so bad. I was so excited to. And totally forgot. I did rapid fire this thing, though, just to make sure it runs like it needs to. I like to do that with all the firearms. So you can single action this thing, or you can shoot double action or whatever, however you please. But I forgot to do it like this, man. I might have to take it back and hit it like this a few times. But, um... Let's get into the breakdown of this thing real quick. Okay, so with the breakdown of this thing, it's kind of weird because it's like a fixed barrel, so the barrel does not come out. Um, and it doesn't come in a box because this is a pawn shop pickup. So um, as well as my P94, that was a pawn shop pickup too. You can find some good stuff in the pawn shops. If y'all be scared or whatever, just give it a try because... The pawn shop be having some good stuff. So anyway, to break this thing down, we're going to flip it over right here. Because this your takedown lever right here. And it's spring assisted, so you have to like hold it. And then you pull it back and pull this off. You can let it go from there. Spring. barrel and all the other good stuff and that's it that's it on the breakdown right there now honestly to put it on kind of get on my nerves because it's kind of tough to get back on there so all you do is put this spring back on and then line it up flush in the barrel right here just Slide it like that, and then pull all the way, right? Now you got to come back to this lever, push it down, and then, like, pull it through like this. It's like a... it it's kind of hard to know like when it's on there or not so really what you can do is do exactly what I just did just let that thing go over here because once it's back there it's like this spring goes away that's in here it's like the spring 
goes away or something and it gets all loose or whatnot. I guess that's one way to tell when it's back on there properly. And then it'll lock in place. And then all you do is hit your slide release right here and pull it back. I'm gonna dry fire to pull the camera up. So, take that magazine out. I like to give it a little, just to make sure everything is functioning properly. Put that in so I can pull the hammer back up. And that's pretty much it. That's how you break it down. Get it cleaned and that's it. So, you seen the breakdown of it. Uh, let's get into some pros and cons. Um, personally, I would change this front sight to something neon because it's hard to see on that paper if you just want to go to the range and shoot a little bit. I'm sure if you had an actual target or something crazy was happening, then it's, you will see it. But when it's when it come down to like training and stuff like that at um at like the range and stuff like that this white ain't gonna cut it at the front for me i can't do the white because i couldn't see nothing um even though i was hitting though but my first couple rounds i think my first eight eight rounds i was hitting more to the right i was more to the right with it so um I mean, another pro, well, a pro, that was a con. <laughs> a pro would be the size. It's not too much of a size difference from what I carry every day. So, um, like, it's a good little, this a little pocket rocket. That's what I call it. It's a little pocket rocket because you can easily put this in your pocket or something like that and just go on about your business. So, um, that's a pro. Another con would be capacity. What I'm gonna do with eight? What if I got like three, four, five mofos messing with me? You know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna have to, I have to start tucking and rolling or something after I run out of ammo, pull out the knife, something like that. I don't know, but uh, I need more than that. I need more than eight for sure. Um, I know all it takes is one to hit your target or whatever, but if it was some real deal, some real deal going on, that eight ain't gonna do it. So, um, I would say, uh, I can't really tell you like price wise because it was a pawn shop pickup, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I don't know about the price. I can't really tell you about the price. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not that expensive. It's a little 380. So I think that's all good or whatnot. Uh, another pro would be the single action. Man, I'm so mad I didn't get to shoot this thing single action. I was so worried about the accuracy of it, which it is very accurate. Like once I uh put that that little sticker on there that I had showed y'all, um, I put that part on the head, like, boom, I, I start seeing this diet. I was like on it. So that was real good. Another thing would probably be, uh, another con because I only shot 58 rounds through this thing, 58 rounds just to test it out and see how it run. You know, I can't really just judge it, but Within 58 rounds, it jammed twice. So, you know, I don't, hey, can't deal with no jams, but uh, other than that, it shoot kind of hard, and that beaver's tail dig into your hand a little bit. But overall, it's a pretty cool firearm. Bursa, and they did not have no 380 ammo in uh uh academy and the one they did was it was uh 
like twenty five dollars or something like that. Or uh, twenty one. It was twenty one dollars and it was only twenty rounds. I'm like, for three eighty the nine millimeter fifty fifty rounds was the same price. So you mean to tell me we can't get no fifty round three eighties or whatever? It's a three eighty. So it ain't even like it's the most common. Nine is most common, you know. But I'm like, golly, that's kind of steep for just twenty, um, for just twenty cartridges or whatever. So I get to the gun range and I'm like, um, let me get some three eighty ammo. She was like, uh, it's thirty eight. <laughs> I say, what man? I should have got that stuff from Academy or whatever. But uh, I ended up getting that. $38 ammo and I could have had a $21 ammo or whatever but <laughs> that was my L next time I know um I do have some gun range footage for y'all today was a review day and to have some fun with our other firearms up in here and uh so yeah, we're gonna throw that up in there for y'all so y'all can see how we was rocking at the range with this thing and let y'all see the accuracy that we had with this. Mostly on target, 58 shots, jammed twice. It's mostly on target though. It refers to the door to the right, but I guess it was just me. Everything down the center though. Other than 
than that, pretty cool firearm. Get it for your granny. She going to handle that thing. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, other than that, that's all I got on this firearm. If you own this, put in the comments what you think about this bad boy. Um, you know, as always, y'all be safe. More guns, less problems.